First up, police in Thailand have arrested more anti-government activists. It's part of action against rallies that have been going on for the past month. At least nine people were taken into custody over the past 24 hours, and they've now been released on bail. The protests are emerging as a serious challenge to Prime Minister Payush Chanocha, who is already having to deal with pandemic-induced economic woes. And in a moment, we'll go live to Sakti Sarasambad in Bangkok. But first, a look at how events have unfolded. The latest arrest target a popular rapper, a human rights lawyer and a veteran activist, among others. They are charged with breaching internal security laws and defying an emergency coronavirus measure that bans public gatherings. It's been more than a month since mass student-led demonstrations erupted. Using the three-fingered salute inspired by the Hunger Games, hundreds of schoolchildren closed in on the education minister, jeering and heckling him as he came out to speak with them. Protesters have been demanding the resignation of Prayut Chanucha's government and democratic reform, but they triggered even more controversy earlier this month when they expanded their agenda to criticize Thailand's monarchy, issuing a 10 point manifesto calling for its reform. Well, let's bring in our correspondent, Saksis Asambad, in Bangkok. So, Saksis, the nine protesters who were arrested, they were released on bail just a short while ago. What are they accused of? Well, Glenda, the uh, list is pretty long, but the main point, it all boils down to against all these nine that have been arrested over the past 24 hours is sedition. Uh, Article 116 of the Criminal uh, Code that says here and that it can be punished with, with up to seven years. But there is also very interestingly, uh, many of them have also been charged with violating a state of emergency because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The interesting point here is since uh, at least the case that has been brought up here, refers to a rally on July the 18th, the first big rally that has set up this series of anti-government protests. That was before the government has said that they will not use the state of emergency law against political protests uh, with the extension going on from August. So even though for later protests that have been happening this month, they might not be charged with violating this, they were still being charged with violations before that point. Now, all in all, uh, the activists are still saying that this has nothing to do with uh, COVID or with the pandemic whatsoever, that this is a suppression of uh, dissent against the government of General Prayut Chan-o-sa. Saksit, are these arrests likely to have any impact on the growing protests, given they've largely been seen as a leaderless movement? It can have an impact, but not quite the impact that the government might wish to. It could actually embolden um, the protesters to, uh, to go on with their protests. Now, we have seen this protest going on for quite some time, for at least one month, not only on the streets of Bangkok, but also on campuses around the country. And even the school children, as we, as we have seen earlier, just a few minutes ago, are joining in the fray as well. So this is uh, a huge challenge against the government, but not only against the government, but also against the whole political structure, the whole political structure, including the demands for reform of the monarchy that is officially revered here in Thailand. So saying that, how are authorities responding to protested demands of this demanding a new constitution and, as you mentioned, their reform of the monarchy? Well, it really depends who you talk to. But so far, overall, uh, the response by the government, except with the arrest of all these activists, have been pretty tame. They have been saying that they are listening to the demands of the protesters, that they are trying to have a constitutional amendments where there's a bipartisan agreement on both sides of the aisle, uh, at least in principle, but not so much on the details. But however, government and coalition parties are saying, and especially also established um, parties and ultra-royalists, they are saying that any change to the, uh, the, the royal institution, as I said, that is officially revered here in Thailand is an absolute non-starter. However, uh, the arrests of activists, which is, by the way, not the first time that we have seen over the past few weeks, that begs to differ. And as I said before, these arrests could escalate the protests even further going forward. And there will be more protests have been already been announced and with a big one next month in September.
Yeah, I'm sure you'll be keeping an eye on it for us. Uh, thanks very much for that. Saksia Sombat speaking to us from Bangkok.